JKB back with another episode. What's going on, love buddies? So there I am yesterday on Twitter, as I do, you know, looking up uh, <clears throat> stuff. And an interesting tweet was brought forward to me from Melanie Mac, who basically said to somebody else, don't be a bully. So I was like, holy shit, Melanie Mac of all people, she's never this aggressive. So I looked at the tweet that it was based on. And there was an X Games athlete who decided to basically tweet out that gamers shouldn't be part of the X Games and being a gamer, or a pro gamer in this case, is not being an athlete. And she also basically said you shouldn't get X Game medals for being a gamer. So of course I thought that was a horrible way to go about this. In the gaming community you are kind of allowed to have opinions and if the majority doesn't agree with you, you get shit on. Now do I agree with her that being a gamer, or in this case a pro gamer, does that make you an athlete? Now before I get to my opinion, I gotta say, I did a vote and 75% out of 100 people said that being a pro gamer does not make you an athlete. Now that's strange. I was very surprised with that answer. I thought for sure it would be closer to 50-50, but 75% of you all agreed that being a gamer, a pro gamer on the pro level does not make you an athlete. So the real question here is what is an athlete? Are we going into the future here? Are we changing the definition of an athlete? I mean, does being an athlete not take both mental and physical powers? I'm pretty sure it does. Now, my personal story goes back a long time ago. It has to do with me competing in Nintendo tournaments and Sega tournaments when I was younger. So I know what it feels like to have to do hard, hard training. And I'm not talking about my dick, because that's always hard. I'm talking about physical and mental training that goes into being a gamer and wanting to win. Comes down to moments in a video game. I was, you know, pretty good at F-Zero. However, I came in second in Canada, so the person who won can go to hell. But that being said, it took so much out of me, so much energy, because I was concentrating like I had never done before, and the stress was there with me, and everything was mounting to, you know, one final run, and I happened to come in second place by three milliseconds, and I learned that day that being a gamer, or even a gamer in a tournament, is not just a mental thing, it also is a physical thing. Using your mind like this does definitely make you exhausted. Now on the other side of the fence, I've got a really expensive road bike. Now I'm not saying I'm a pro, however, if I did go into marathons and all that stuff, I'd probably do pretty good. I mean, I have a very expensive bike, I'm just saying that because I want to be an egomaniac. But my point here is, when you start biking, you do it for physical reasons. In my case, I was eating a lot of fried chicken and I didn't want to carry around that fat with me anymore and I wanted to look good naked. Now, I do look good naked because I started to do 50 kilometers a day and that's Canadian. Miles in the States, I, I don't know, that's probably from like n the bottom of New York City to the top of it. That all being said, as you get into biking, you slowly realize that it's just as physical as it is mental. You really have to concentrate on both sides of the spectrum. So with that all being said, should the X Games really be the place for pro gamers? I mean, looking back at the X Games, Tony Hawk really revolutionized the X Games and he took skating where it wasn't, you know, physically allowed to be in the Olympics and he made it a major sport. He made it mainstream. I mean, obviously there was other people and I don't want the skaters to come out, you know, after me and roll me for my fucking Nikes. But my point here is, Tony Hawk, X Games, they got pretty fucking big back in the 90s. Now with that being said, there's another side of the coin. Is X Games just bringing video games in because it's a billion dollar industry? That's a question. You know what I think the biggest problem here is? The person who said, let's take the fucking geeks and jocks and put them on the same program. Whoever said that was probably a smart guy because he's probably making a lot of money or woman, who knows. But the point here is, I don't think gamers should have to put up with this shit. And I also don't think the athletes who, who do a lot more physical work, which is understandable, 
have to put up with the gamers. It makes no sense that the X Games is a place for us to get together and reward people. I mean, why don't we have a reward show that covers all of these? Like, can you imagine how big that would be? The Olympics of video games. Does it really have to be the X Games? I have no idea. I'm curious, however, how many of you out there feel that being a pro gamer is being an athlete? And how many of you think being a pro gamer is just being lazy? Because I know that some of you feel that way. Mm, I don't feel that way. I'm kind of torn between both sides here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, rub one out. Uh, just, just make sure you scream my name when you do it. Thank you so much. I will see you on the next JKB episode.